One of the more advanced concepts of Uvium is the concept of a data type. It's a fundamental concept within programming. Um, and so it may be new to non-programmers who are, who are approaching Uvium for the first time. Uh, but normally when we um, double tap on the ether and we open up a bubble, I can put in a number. And this number is, is a data type. It's a, it's a floating point number. It means that you, know, you can have decimals in it. Um, but Uvium currently has four native data types. And so this number data type is only one of them. Another data type that it has is complex number. So I can use the letter I here. and create a complex number, a number that exists on the imaginary plane. Uh, and you can see that these different data types are denoted by different colors. So uh, real numbers are green, complex numbers are the cyan. I can also create a vector, three-dimensional vector, um, and that's denoted in this magenta color. Uh, one of the nice things about, about that is I can do some vector calculations. So I can take the cross product of these vectors, or I can take the dot product of them. Um, which, you know, if you have done any vector calculations can be kind of tedious. Uh, so it's kind of handy in this. Now the fourth native data type is a little bit more, um, a little bit more abstract, and it is the the function. It's a function itself. So the way that I create one of these data types is I use these brackets. So in order to define something as a function, I embed it in the bra brackets, and then it turns it this blue color. So there are some functions, for example, the summation function itself, which will take a function data type as a parameter. Um, so let's, let's see an example of that. Uh, I'm going to just create some number of x, uh, number bubbles here. And I'm going to make use of this summation function right here. So the summation function is, is this sigma symbol, and basically allows you to iterate between iterate some number. In Uvium, that number is k, uh, between two numbers. So for example, if we wanted to um, iterate just k itself, we, just, we wanted to just to take the summation of 1 through 9. All right, so we take the summation function, and I'm going to iterate between 1 and 9. In this case, we'll use a simple function. So use bracket, k bracket, so it's just an identity function. And I get the answer 45. So uh, the sum of the numbers 1 through 9 is equal to 45. So I can take this more, slightly more complex function and do the same thing. In this case, I'll just reference these bubbles. It equals, and I get 198. Now here, I can I can adjust this number, and then it will change the the iteration the the numbers that it iterates over. So it be kind of it can be kind of handy, especially used in conjunction with MEX. It allows you to create some fairly sophisticated um, functions, which you can see in the MEX demo.